All right, uh, this one was uh, sent to me by a is a regular contributor to my videos. Means he comments. His name at the rate the real Thanos fifty five. Okay, Thanos, Thanos. Malayali will say Thanos. Okay. Anyway, so what he's saying is Loy, big capital this thing. I know this is out of topic, but could you share your insights on health and longevity? Because since you made a dramatic weight loss, I lost half my body weight. From what you used to be, what are the major changes that you've noticed and such? Okay, mm, I like the topic, and I thought it was something that would offer value. If you do not know, I have had a bariatric surgery. Okay, where they cut the stomach. Uh, I've I've spoken about it. I don't want to make explain in detail, but they made my stomach, which was big, into a small, as small as an egg or a fist, and uh, they have rerouted how food passes by, so the absorption is less, and the ability to eat also is less. It's called malabsorptive. That means it absorbs less, and malrestrictive. It's uh, it restricts how much I can eat. So I eat less and I absorb less. Okay. Uh, however, don't take it as a short-term, quick, easy fix. There are a lot of complications that come with this surgery, and if you have to do it right, it's expensive. It's not cheap. So I made sure that I paid a good amount of money to a doctor who was recommended by a very, very, very close friend. He had. Where I got convinced that this doctor was good, he told me his 86-year-old mother. He entrusted his mother to this man's care, and his mother was doing just fine. And his mother loves that doctor. So I was like, if a guy can entrust his mother, who he loves more than life itself, this man will take care. And he was the owner and CEO of a hospital. So he personally made sure that I was taken care of, and I paid the money. Okay. Uh, if you are curious, uh, that time I paid five thousand dollars only for the operation. He gave it to me at a lesser price. It would have been much more. Videos of this <laughs> are online. You can just type Loy Mesido Bariatric Surgery or Silver Line Hospital. But just mind you, it's graphic. Blood is there, and uh, it's an operation. And I'm naked on the operating table. I didn't know when <laughs> that they would film me naked. Anyway, look like a dead body. Nothing to get turned on. Yes, even I can't bear it. Okay, anyway, I look like a lifeless corpse. So there are complications which I have shared, uh, but overall I'm very happy with my life. But remember, it's a tool. You still have to work hard to get rid of your bad habits, change your life, which I've done. Now, in response to the question, uh, health and longevity. These are some of the key points that I think you should know about. One I've realized is we eat more than what is required. All of us, we eat more than what is required, and that is why we have fat at the side. Now here it all comes down to how much more you eat. That is one, because every time you eat more than what is required, it gets stored. And the second thing is what do you eat? Do you eat more sugar? Do you eat more uh, ice creams, chocolates? Do you eat more processed food? Do you eat more junk food? Do you eat natural food? Do you eat more protein? Do you eat more carbs? Do you eat more fat? So, there also you have to analyze. And then, uh, you know, what is your lifestyle? Are you constantly working, like physically? Uh, do you do a lot of walking? Do you do a lot of weight lifting, like heavy lifting, or do you sit, you know, just in front of a computer whole day, and then after that sit on the sofa, then go in the elevator, then sit in the car with hardly any movement, or do you go to the gym? And if you go to the gym, are you doing exercise properly, or are you just doing namesake, walking on the treadmill, talking to someone, or you don't even know what exercise you're doing? So all these factors come into play. Okay. So, and uh, yes, uh, are you 
are you being coached and guided properly and do you have a strategy do you have a long term strategy in mind or are you simply doing fads okay i'll try paleo i'll try mediterranean diet i'll try some other atkins okay so what has worked out for me i'll give you a couple of things number one is the big difference between before and now before i used to never fast impossible i was never fasting today i practice intermittent fasting every single day that means i eat until i'm about to sleep i sleep around 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock whatever in the night whatever time i get up it can be 12 it can be 1 2 whatever i will not eat until it's 9 o'clock in the night okay so now i'm making slight exceptions like i i like having masala chai lately from the past one month otherwise i am eating only at 9 in the night after waking up throughout the day i have enough and more fuel see all this fat is fuel i don't need and where i realized that we don't need food for energy is you know i posted a video no five days i did not eat any food for five days i didn't eat any food i was just on water and uh, i was functioning i was okay i was normal i didn't die i didn't so i was like thinking five days i didn't eat any food and i still have the energy to walk and talk yes it was very uncomfortable yes hunger pangs were crazy because that was the first time i did five days so i was like then why am i eating it's a question right if you have energy why are you eating there i realized i'm eating only because it's a habit i'm eating because i enjoy it you know when you eat food no you relax you there's a release of dopamine there's a real you know pleasure centers of your brain like they say and that is where i realized food today gives you pleasure that's why when you eat sweet you like it so much you eat a nice juicy burger pizza these are all processed food with chemicals and these chemicals trigger a response in your head that make you want to eat more and obviously they engineer the food so it goes down very smooth a simple example try having a kfc chicken okay a kfc chicken and have a actual chicken naturally killed grill that you will not be able to finish that naturally grilled chicken okay and it will be skinny it will not be so thick and juicy and big it's very dry but the kfc chicken is not only very delicious is very fat is very tasty but you notice it goes down very fast and you can eat more in fact you can eat twice or thrice the amount of a natural chicken so that is where i realized the chemicals in fast foods are designed to want to make you eat more okay so the first one the point i told you is we are eating not because we are we need food need we are eating food because it's a habit because we enjoy it it's relaxing it's fun it stimulates us that's why many of us eat food when we are watching a movie why do you think when you go to watch a movie we order a bucket of popcorn or a big massive bucket and plus uh, pepsi or coke or plus m&ms and plus crisps and chips because as you can keep stuffing your face salty sugar crispy crunchy umami chocolate you know all the pleasure centers of your brain are happy so first one is you eat more than what is required so you're not eating because you need you eat because you enjoy so first is i cut down on the amount of food i eat second one is i made it a point to cut down the most addictive food the most dangerous food or additive among all that is sugar the most dangerous most addictive substance in the world 
as high as cocaine and all that is sugar. Try, if you don't believe me, try not having sugar and uh, sugary stuff, chocolates, ice creams, no sugar at all, at all. See how far you can survive. You will not. You will maybe succeed for a month, then you will break down. And even I, I cut down and I've seen even YouTubers who have not eaten sugar for a month. But then they say, yes, I've succeeded, but I want to enjoy life. So sugar, we enjoy it. But the problem is that processed sugar, you know that white sugar, brown sugar, even that sweetener, they are not good at all. Because they spike up your insulin and they make you more hungry. They want you to eat more. That is why all the foods in the world have sugar added in them in some way or another. That is why even here in Thailand, uh, why the food is so tasty, they actually put sugar in all the food that they make. If it is spicy, they'll put some sugar. If it is salty, they'll put sugar. Everything has sugar. And because of which now there is a obesity pandemic here. Okay. So sugar, it has to be removed. Okay. And yes, please. I made it this mandatory for my wife and my kid. They will never drink cold drinks. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, 7-Up. I used to drink 18 Red Bulls. Oof. Uh, minimum six per day. Minimum. So I know what it is. And Starbucks and uh, all these coffee joints, thick, creamy with caffeine and with sugar, with oh, this and that and pumpkin latte and extra cream. And don't drink your calories. Even when, you know, fruit juices, no? don't drink the juice. Eat the fruit. Because remember, you can drink the juice of 20 apples easily. You cannot eat 20 apples. You can eat maybe two apples. So you are simply giving yourself more energy that is required. Okay. The next one is, it is very, very important to have some kind of physical activity. You see, why do I make videos while walking? Do you think... Uh, Okay, the nature and you can see some moving stuff and some people say it's relaxing. But I do it because it's not only forcing me to exercise a bit. The whole day I'm sitting at home. I do nothing else. So then I need to do some activity, right? So this kind of forces me to walk and I walk uphill. It's like an uphill uh, when I move that side. So it kind of gives me some exercise. Always remember, some exercise is better than no exercise. And no, exercise does not help you lose weight. Exercise facilitates burning calories, but will not help you lose weight unless, of course, you change and control your diet. Diet and food is 80%. 80, huh? It's as high as that. So imagine, 80% is all food. Maybe 10% or 15% is exercise. 5% is sleep and rest. Okay. So some exercise is good because it stimulates your body. It is recommended to do weight training, not ego lifting. But for me, I'm just, you could say a little lazy. I don't want to go to the gym and lift weights and... It's, kind of, it's like, takes 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, even if it's less, I don't know, I'm just lazy. I'm being honest with you. But it's recommended to have some weightlifting, especially if you are after 35. By the way, I was massive. I was huge. I had so much thick muscle and fat on my body. <laughs> now, my knees, they bump into each other, which never happened for the first... 36 years of my life, my legs were thick like chicken legs. Now I'm looking like someone who's dying <laughs> old. Anyway, so you have to be smart with eating natural, eating less. Nobody dies by eating less. They only die by eating more. Okay, little bit of exercise every day. And you need to be consistent, man. 
don't do anything just for you know people say i'll diet for one month no it's no use yaar you do something consistent okay if you want to jump start jump start your body's uh, healing process or to neutralize the insulin or kill the cancer cells or ensure autophagy where it will eat the dead cells fine you want to do fasting or intermittent fasting for 12 hours 14 hours 16 hours or you want to do a fasting for 3 days 4 days 7 days 15 days people have done some people have even done i don't know for months but don't do it without taking medical advice and supervision from the proper certified and knowledgeable people fine that will bring down the insulin that will bring down the food cravings that will reset your body like when i did the 5 day uh you know fasting only water not too much water just normal water and the last day i even you know to speed up the process i made sure i didn't even drink water which i don't recommend and don't do that because i was also doing walking exercise every day i am planning for a 7 days uh no fast i don't know when i'm going to start it but i'm expecting to start it very soon and that will be maybe the last 7 day fast i'll do for now i'm not sure if i'll do it again but i want to do 7 days i did for 5 days i was not able to do 7 days my mind was playing games as i ah come on i feeling too weak so this time i'll do 7 days and why i'm doing it is because i just want to reset the body again Uh, i still believe there's a lot of repairing to be done in the body a uh, lot of healing and overall i think uh, it'll just reset uh, the sugar cravings uh, you know i'm i'm just doing it for and discipline and self control and all the other stuff i'm just doing it personally i don't need to do it and yes if there are any cancer cells tumors unwanted this thing the body cells will eat it okay uh but do i recommend you to do it don't do it without medical supervision is it going to be hard oh bloody hell it's going to be very tough because every you'll be reminded of food every few minutes i remember <laughs> the first time i did it i even had dreams i was ha- hallucinating about food i had dreams of food can you believe i had dream of eating it was crazy okay so i know it's going to be a tough challenge but uh, let's see this time the only modification i might do is i'll not eat any food i might drink black coffee the reason for black coffee is i want to be alert and active when i'm doing work so i'll keep you updated on that 7 day fast and uh, do you think i should make daily videos and give you the progress if yes you can comment down below and if i see interest maybe i'll do every day i'll give you an update but like i said don't do it without medical supervision and uh, yeah uh, the only other thing i'll tell you is uh whatever you do do it long term make it a permanent lifestyle change don't do it for gimmicks take professional advice don't be cheap on that go to someone certified don't go to someone who is you know bulging with muscles and taken steroid shots and lifting heavy he is not a healthy person okay if you do yoga fine it's good if you eat natural food natural like fruits vegetables chicken fish meat whatever natural fine if you reduce carbs very good okay if you eat more protein fine if you do exercise like walking swimming cycling or low impact stuff even if you go to the gym but you are doing it properly fine but be consistent take professional guidance and know what you are doing okay be clear about what you are doing so and yes the other thing for longevity which i have uh um, which i do now which i was not doing before was sleep i never gave importance to sleep i always thought 
Sleeping is for losers. I take frequent naps. It helps me re-energize myself. I definitely make it a point after I wake up, I don't eat anything. Black coffee is fine. After some time, um, I take care of my body, which I always have. I wash, I bathe, you know, the best toothpaste I can buy, the best toothbrush, the best body wash. I take care of my body. Uh, some people, before I used to go for massages and all that, now there's no stretching is good. I should be doing it, but I'm not. Yoga I should be doing, but I'm not. Instead, I do walking, but I recommend yoga and stretching. And uh, yes, uh, you don't need to eat much. You only need to eat how much you need. And just look at your body. If your body has fat, you're eating more than what is required. And remember, hunger is just a feeling. Hunger is just a, a kind of memory in the body. Oh, I'm hungry. If you ignore it and continue with your work, eventually you'll forget about it. So, and yeah, um, try to get back to nature. If you see, I'm wearing Luna sandals. These are just like a rubber and, wait, let me show you. Just rubber and, you know, it's like very natural. I don't wear shoes because shoes, they cushion your feet. If you see people in the village, they walk barefoot. So you have to be closer to nature. And uh, yeah, see, remember, technology is good, but it's making our bodies lazy. That's why you'll see people taking their smartphone and lying down and browsing and watching and not moving and chatting and uh, everything. And Elon, oh, who's that? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Apple want you to put a headset and lie down and don't do anything. It's stupid. Yeah. Come back to nature. That is why even before I used to wear sunglasses, no need. Why do I go without a shirt? Sunlight. Uh, yeah, and I told you, because of my operation, now I take supplements and also for my blood count, which is slightly low. And yes, you after you cross 35, you have to go for a full body checkup annually. You have to make sure that your weight is low more heavy your weight is, more weight on the joints, more weight on your body, more on your internal organs. That is why bodybuilders or people who are heavy don't live very long because the heart has to pump blood more. All your organs have to work more. Okay. And overall, I'll tell you, you just check your lifestyle, see what you're doing and see how you can improve on it. If you keep it simple, Eat less, but when you eat, eat quality food. I know people who eat only one meal a day and more of protein and good food. Uh, I'm not saying don't eat processed foods at all. Don't eat sugar, don't eat chocolates. I still do, but uh, moderation. Uh, uh, some form of exercise is important not to lose weight, but to keep the body active. And, uh, you know, go back to being healthy, the natural way, you know. And if you can do it with your family together, that's more better because then you'll have the support. And I don't think I need to tell you this, but smoking, drinking alcohol, weed, drugs is 100% no. So, yeah, and uh, please cut out sugar, ice creams, chocolates. Remove that from your body. That doesn't help you at all. <sighs> Overall, uh, focus on all this and uh, then, yeah, for your mind, meditation, proper sleep, and then, uh, you know, surrounding yourself with, I'm not saying overly positive people, but uh, genuine people, people who care and who have the common sense to, you know, do the best or give you the best or guide you towards the best. Overall, that's it, yeah, for longevity. And uh, my, uh, this thing is very simple. I want to live as long as I'm healthy and I can work and take care of myself. The day I become a liability or lose any of this, 
I don't see the point in living. I don't want to be a guy in a wheelchair who looks like a vegetable and one pipe up my ass to take out the shit and one pipe through my nose to give me food. What's the use? And being a financial burden on other people is pointless. So yeah, this is what I wanted to share. Thanos, I hope uh, this answers your question. What's uh, the real Thanos 55? All right. Thanks for the topic. If topics like these do come up, it's always good. And uh, feel free to comment down below. All right. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Ciao.